Hi, good day everyone. This video is about permutations with repetition. So this is actually case number 3 under topic permutations. So the number of permutations of n things where one object is repeated r1 times, another is repeated r2 times, and so on, is equals to n factorial all over r1 factorial times r2 factorial times r3 factorial and so on, wherein the sum of the values of r is equals to n. This time, let's try to answer this given problem. Number one, find the number of distinguishable permutations of the letters in the word math. So our first step is to simply count the number of letters for that word. Since we have M-A-T-H, we have four set of letters. Automatically, we have four factorial for this given problem. So next step is to determine, do we have any repeated letters? Okay, we have M, A, T and H for the letters of the word math. So let's count the number of words or letters here. We have M, we have 1, it corresponds to one letter. A, we have 1, T, we have 1, and H, we have 1. So automatically, since we have this set of letters under math, um, we need to divide 4 factorial to its repeated letters. Since we don't have any repeated letters, our formula is equals to P is equals to n factorial. Again, we have four set of letters. We have four factorial all over this set of values. We have one factorial for m, one factorial for a, one factorial for t, and one factorial for h. So, in short, this is equals to four factorial or equals to four times three times two and times one. So, by simplifying this, this is equals to 24. So we have 24 ways. Next, for problem number 2. So how many different ways can the letters of the word cheese can be arranged? So same procedure, our first step is to count the number of letters for this word. We have C-H-E-E-S-E -E -E, that is equals to 6 set of letters. This time, Let's list down all of the letters into that word. We have C, we have H, we have set of E, and we have S. And then let's count the number of letters that corresponds to this word. We have C, we have one set of C. We also have one set of H. This time we have three set of E's. And one letter for S. So the formula is, again, we have P is equals to N factorial. Since N is equals to 6, we have 6 set of letters. We have 6 factorial all over the repeated values or the values of R, their factorial. So that is, for C, we have 1 factorial. For H, we have 1 factorial. For E, we have 3 factorials. And for S, we have 1 factorial. So by simplifying this, this is equals to 6 factorial all over the product of 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 3 factorial, and another 1 factorial. So that is simply equals to 3 factorials. And this is equals to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial. So just cancel out 3 factorial. So this is equals to 6 times 5 times 4. So 6 times 5 times 4 is equals to 120. So we have 120 ways um, to arrange this set of letters. Next, for item number 3. So number 3, find the number of distinguishable permutations of the letters in the word basketball. Again, our first step is to determine the value of n by simply count, counting the number of letters in that word. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So n is equals to 10. So automatically later we will use 10 factorial. Okay? And the next is to list down all of the letters um, wherein we have A. Right? So we have A, we have B, we have E, we have K, L, we have S, and we have T. Okay? And the next is to determine the number of letters that corresponds to that word. So for A, we have two. We have two set of A. Next, for letter B, we have another two set of B. 
For letter E, we have 1. We have 1 for K. For L, we have 2. For S, we have 1. And for the letter T, we also have 1. And the next is to substitute all of this set of values to our formula. Again, we have P is equals to n factorial, that is 10. So we have 10 factorials all over the set of R values. Okay, we have 2 factorial for letter A. We have another 2 factorial for letter B. We have 1 factorial for letter E. So if you want to disregard the set of values, so that is also okay. And then um, another 2 factorial for letter L. So this is equals to 10 factorial all over 3 set of 2 factorial. So this is equals to 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Okay? So if you want to simplify this, so with this super calculator, so this is equals again 10 factorial is equals to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, up to 1. So, with this of our calculator, we have 10 times 9, times 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So, that is equals to 3,628,000. Okay? So, we need to divide this set of values to 2 times 1. So, this is equals to 2 times another 2 times 1, this is also equals to 2, times another 2 times 1, this is equals to 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 is equals to 8. Okay? So we need to divide this set of value, 3,628,800, to 8. Alright, so with this of our calculator, 3,628,000 divided by 8 is equals to 453,000 600 and that is our final answer so if you want to rearrange the set of letters for the word basketball we have 453,600 possible ways next for our final example example number four so find the number of unique permutations of the letters in the word billionaire again same procedure number one is to determine or count the number of letters for that word. So that is the value of n. Since we have billionaire, this is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. We have 11 letters. So that is the value of n. And the next, let's um, list down all of the letters. Okay. We have a. So for the letters, we have a, we have b, e, i, l, O, N, and letter R. Okay, so I think that is the complete set of letters for that word billionaire. And the next is to count the number of letters. For letter A, we have 1. For letter B, we have another 1. Same with letter E. For I, we have 3. Okay, we have 3 set of I. We have 2 set of L. And we have a set of O. For N, we also have 1. And for R, we also have another 1. Next is to use our formula. So the formula is P is equals to N factorial all over R1 factorial times R2 factorial and so on. This time, um, to save time and effort, so you are allowed to disregard all of the letters with one value. So let's disregard the set of values. A, B, E, O, N, and R. Because the value, if you want to multiply this set of values, the value is equals to 1. Therefore, we have, again, P is equals to N factorial. We have 11 factorial all over its um, repeated letters, okay? The factorials of our repeated letters. For I, we have 3. So, we have 3 factorials. And for L, we have 2. So, it will be bus 2 factorial, okay? So, this is equals to 11 factorials all over... 3 factorial, that is 3, times 2 times 1, times 2 factorial, which is equals to 2 times 1. So by simplifying this, again, let's use a calculator. So this is equals to 11 factorial 
all over 3 times 2 times 1 is equals to 6 times 2 times 1 that is equals to 2 and 6 times 2 is equals to 12 therefore we need to divide 11 factorial by 12 so by the way the value of 11 factorial is equals to 11 times 10 times 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 which is equals to 39 million so that is the value okay so that is around 39 million and 116,800 so we need to divide this value by 12 so to divide by 12 so the answer is equals to okay this is our answer so the answer is equals to 3 million 326,400 so that is our final answer right so we have 3 million 326,400 ways or arrangement for that word billionaire so thank you so much and god bless